what day is it? April 18th? 18th, yep, yep. Saturday, we're heading out to Crow's Nest Pass. We're gonna car camp in probably the Atlas staging area, just cause it's crown land, so we don't have to pay. And then I think tomorrow morning, we're gonna go try fishing the Crow River, Crow's Nest River. We've never fished it before. Apparently it's pretty hard fishing. It's all rainbow trout. But from what I have heard is there's 1,500 rainbow trout per every mile of river. And I'm just itching to get out. I just want to fish. So the numbers are it's good. It's like the only place open right now. It's apparently pretty technical to fish the crow, but we'll find out tomorrow what it's like. Even if we can get a bite or catch something, I think we're going to try some nymphs and maybe streamers. Our new waders. Oh, we got to break in the new waders and the new corkers boots. Our rods and reels we just got last summer. We haven't even used our moonshine rods or Allen reels yet. It's a lot of new gear going on tomorrow, but we're yeah. excited. Wish us luck. We'll, uh, we'll have Take some luck. footage to come. So we just pulled up to Atlas and it's not looking very promising for camping. So we literally have to go read this sign. Weston's going ahead of me, but it's kind of sketchy because I don't think we'll be able to get our car across all this. Fingers crossed, he doesn't give us bad news. What's it say? Um, the only way we're allowed to park here is something under a constitution there. So we're not parking here. We just drove two and a half hours to park here. And we ain't gonna be able to park here. So now we're leaving to go find a campground. And we're a little stressed that there won't be a campground. So we'll be bushwhacking somewhere to park. I might have to drive up there. Really? To flip around. Okay, you go and I'll video. Um. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Listen. Are we gonna get stuck in I'll that? I'll flip around and pick you up right there. Okay. This is a super. <laughs> this is a super. He says. <laughs> Literally every camping trip we go on. We think this is like a great idea. We're like, oh, we'll pack up, we'll head out, we'll find somewhere, we'll just like go as we go, like we'll figure it out. And then we uh. get ourselves, sorry, we get ourselves into this mess every single time. Like literally every single time we go camping, we're always we always end up stranded or like without a camping spot, and we just have to figure it out as we go. Ready? Yeah. So we just tried. Uh, Atlas yep. staging area and yet again my stupid ideas got us here and Weston's trustworthy personality <laughs> he's a pleaser and he was just ple trying to please my want to come out here and yet again I let us down you might have tried campground maybe like an RV park or something around here hopefully one of those Pay at the campground sites and then should be okay. Oh, shit. 
we're kind of meatballs for going out at this time of year though with everything going on and thinking that like it would be open no i already said covid can't stop us <laughs> covid won't stop us okay so <laughs> we're now at our second spot that we thought for sure would be open um and it's the campground bellevue campground in pincher creek and it is in fact closed to the public until further notice <laughs> so covid can't stop us <laughs> it's trying uh, though yeah it's trying so we'll try a couple more spots and we'll give you guys an end game here but things are looking a little uncomfortable for us <laughs> okay so <laughs> we went to a couple different campgrounds and they're all closed to anything but trailers because they said that the washrooms are closed so we have nowhere to pee. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're in the IGA parking lot, which I mean, it's dead here, so that's a plus. But there's literally like this is the view. And I told Weston we should just sleep in the front seat and fold the seats down, but he insists that we fully set up our back because it hurts his back too much. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be comfy when you're car camping. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. We have no tint on our windows. So there's a janitor in the IGA. There's literally a janitor. They in may there. report us. We don't know. And Weston and I decided to drive around the IGA once before we found the spot. So we literally went past about four security cameras. So I would say comment below if this is illegal to let us know, but we'll have already done it by then. So. You gotta risk it for the biscuit. But if you do know info on like where you can public or where you can legally car camp, if you're just driving through, like you're literally just gonna sleep in your car and keep driving, please let us know for future because this probably will happen multiple times again. <laughs> anyway, see you and I see you in the morning. Good night. Wish us luck. Good night. We might have one more video of our camping setup when we're fully set up in six hours from now because we decide the coast is clear. <laughs> okay, see but till then, take luck. <laughs> Guys, we're now here at IGA in Blairmore in the back of the parking lot, hoping to camp. There's a janitor inside. We hope he leaves soon. So what we did, we jet boiled some water so we got our cup of nudes, our bowl of noodles. Because why eat MREs when you can eat a cup of nudes? So we'll update you if this place works out. It may not work out. But we'll let you know. In the meantime, we're going to smash some nudes. <laughs> Sorry. Guys, spy cam update. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Spy cam update. The lights just went off in the IGA. <gasps> He's getting ready to lock up and leave. This will be the real moment of truth to see if he gets in his car, drives away. He just start. He just remote started the car. I don't Do you want think him. He's gonna flip around and come this way. I don't want him to see this flashing light on the GoPro. Yo, he's gonna flip around and drive out this way. No, he could drive around. Damn it, he will. <laughs> he's gonna. Okay, we're uh. We're probably gonna get caught. We'll update soon. We survived! Morning. We're still <laughs> at IGA. Workers are coming in, so we figured it's time to get up. It was it was a night. It was less than less than av, but average, but it um, probably about four hours of sleep. Yeah. That's good enough to fish. Yeah. We're both tired. Every time headlights would come and shine on the window, I would get so nervous. But then I like, maybe we're weirdos for thinking it's weird. Maybe people don't care we're camping here. No, people would care about that, but like, if they think that we're just like car camp, like car livers. Bum in a spot. But like, this is where we slept. Like, if you want a better view, better visual, I'll give you one. So there's our little river. 
Ooh, hot damn. Hot damn. <laughs> At the IGA, baby. <laughs> but it does have some nice mountainous views, for sure. Ooh, crow's Nest Mountain lighting up in the morning. <laughs> yes! Sunrise here is probably in another hour. Oh. We're gonna go get some coffees. Yes. We're gonna get some caffeine. We're gonna get some donuts. You can't even really complain because it's just beautiful. It is nice. And then like we just started the car, warmed her up, and we're ready to rock. It was kind of cold. A I was good times. all night, but I think it's because I'm A couple pregnant. times was cold. <laughs> like usually I'm cold, but you were cold. I think it's because I'm pregnant. I really do. As I'm trying to freaking get our hand warmer going, I filled it up with the Zippo fuel because it's like a catalyst hand warmer. It's freaking leaking in the Subaru, so hopefully I don't light this thing on fire. Would it actually? Well, if I lit a spark up there. All right, we'll see you when we find our spot. Top of the morning to you. What's up, bitches? GoPro, turn off. Free Timbits this morning. Hey guys. We found our spot. We're just off of a bridge on the Crow's Nest River, so it probably gets fished a lot. So we're probably planning on hiking quite a ways down the river. It, uh, it looks pretty good where we're at though. It's, uh, it's a rainbow trout river, so it's gonna be some hard work, but we'll see how it goes. The only thing I'm worried about is my hands. It's so windy, can, kinda cold still. If we can keep my hands warm, I'll be good. Anyway, we'll give you guys updates as we go. Bye for now. Bye. Bye, Felicia. It's hot. It is warm. Got it? Here. Wait a sec. Yeah, down. Okay. Guys, fly fishing is tough. I just got a fly up in the tree. Up this hill. It's pretty steep. You probably can't tell. I'm about to make my way back down. Hopefully not slip. Well, it's been a pretty unproductive day on the Crow's Nest River. Cass had one good bite, good sized fish. I've been skunked so far. We're gonna stop at a few of the bigger holes still, but we haven't even seen any fish. Oh, that bird scared me. I'm out of breath because... Oh! <laughs> Because I'm fat and we've been hiking a ways. So this is officially the first time Weston hasn't had moist crotch after fly fishing. Moist. Wet panties. Not today. No wet panties today due to our new waders we got. Our they Sims are waders. Breathable. breathable. Oh my gosh, walk around without your walk around without your boots on. <laughs> oh, my feet feel so light. Your feet feel so light, right? It wow. feels so weird. But yeah, so we got corker boots and Sims waders and before we had literally $90 Canadian tire ones. And I can tell you right now, like, I don't know why we waited so long. Hey, West? Yeah, it's amazing. Why did we wait so long? It's a mystery. Guys, we made it home. Um, like and subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more of this debauchery. Every weekend, we never film the stuff that happens, but it always goes like this. So uh, throw us a like, subscribe to our channel and more to come.